At Cobelco, we have been building cranes since 1930, and today we offer several models to fit all of your construction needs. In this video, we're going to demonstrate the sub-assembly, self-erection system, operation and disassembly of the 160-ton CK-1600. This machine has a maximum boom length of 250 feet and a basic boom length of 50 feet. The maximum boom and jib combination is 200 feet of main boom with a 100-foot jib. A luffing jib attachment is also available on the CK-1600. The working weight of the CK-1600 is 306,000 pounds and is powered by a 331 horsepower Tier 3 compliant Hino engine. The dimensions of the CK-1600 are 25 feet 11 inches from the top of the gantry. The overall length of the crawlers is 25 feet and 11 inches and the width of the crawlers is 21 feet 9 inches. The width of the crawler's shoe is 48 inches. All Cobelco cranes have the capability for self-erection. Additional information can be found in the specification sheet. The CK-1600 will transport with crawler frames removed and will be shipped from the factory without the boom base section installed. The transport weight of the machine in this configuration without an optional third drum is about 80,000 pounds. The boom and counterweights transport best on a 38-foot step deck type trailer. The counterweight is placed on the bed of the haul truck and the boom can be placed on top. As always, the counterweights can be secured with a chain, but the boom should only be secured with nylon straps. Each boom base tips and inserts are labeled with identification tags. When unloading the base machine, make sure the operator has read and understands the operator's manual. When unloading the boom inserts and counterweight, use suitable nylon straps. The total weight of each piece is noted in the operator's manual and the counterweights also have decals on them giving the total weight of each piece. Boom sections are marked with decals to identify picking points. Now let's demonstrate the unloading of the CK1600 main machine. Press the button on the LMI showing the boom apart and hold it for 3 seconds. This puts the LMI into setup mode. This will allow all functions to operate during the sub-assembly process. The machine is equipped with hydraulic jacks called translifters to lift the main machine up 42 inches for easy loading and unloading from the transport truck. To operate first remove the swing arm locking pins and place them into the empty hole next to it. Swing the translifter arms out to the working position and the locking pins will fall into place. Make sure all four locking pins are fully inserted and spring pins are installed on the bottom side of the lock pins. Install the floats on the bottom of each translifter and secure with locking pins. Unless working on concrete or very hard surface, use good quality matting or steel plates under each float. The two cables to operate the remote box for the translifters will now need to be connected. One is for the power supply from the upper structure to the lower car body. The other is the control box itself. Turn off the engine and connect one end of the power supply cable to the receptacle on the right side of the upper structure and the other end to the lower switch box located in the main car body of the machine. Then connect the control box cable to the switch box. Each of the cables are marked with identification numbers. Start the engine and set the speed to approximately 1000 RPMs. Move the hydraulic selector switch located on the left panel inside the cab to the translifter position. Turn the control box power switch on. The four outside switches on the control box control the four individual translifter jacks. Make sure that the four floats stay firmly on the ground during the lifting procedure. We are now ready to lower the translifter jacks and raise the machine off the transport truck. Extend the rear cylinders two at a time up about three inches and then level up the machine by extending the front cylinders up the same distance. Make adjustments as needed to keep the machine level from side to side. A level is mounted on the car body of the machine as an aid to keep the machine level. Continue this process until all cylinders are fully extended. Make sure the machine is completely clear of the bed of the haul truck. Slowly drive the truck from under the machine. Lower the machine to the ground using the same method as when raising.